building the pallet area. I've, I've kind of done a little bit of, of pre-build and kind of just the generic setup of some of the things that we're using inside of it. The whole basis for a pallet is we're trying to combine the worlds of an aquatic habitat in with a terrestrial habitat and, and kind of bring the two parts together. Um, so we're, we're getting started with that. Uh, we're utilizing the new pallet platform, uh, which is now at Iguana. Uh, it's a really nice just addition to build to put inside of there. When we went into this kind of world of building paludariums, the whole idea was that we were going to let people just completely DIY it. And, and everybody was doing a paludarium in the past, they were all DIY. It was a lot of doing spray foam and siliconing things to the back of the tank, but we realized that's not always the best option for a lot of people. We wanted something that you know everybody could do. Uh, and the platform is really kind of the, the tool that we've come out with to make that easy for you. So you can build your land on top of that and kind of bridge everything up from there. And uh, we're going to go from there and use that for, for what we're doing. If we're doing an aquatic inhabitant, uh, inhabitants, we want to have a heater down there. We need to keep this tank warm enough for all the fish, for everything that's going to be down there. So that's essential. We've also got a filter in there, hoping to make it a nice little waterfall feature going out of that. Hopefully that all uh, works out for me. And um, get those all in place. You want to have those in place before you build everything. Otherwise, you're digging around and trying to feed cores, and it's just never going to be fun. So. bottom of the tank. This is the terrarium moss that I was talking about earlier. I use this anywhere where I want to have a little bit better color, so it's going to pop the nice green and kind of give us a better visual feel for the tank. Just using again some of this terrarium moss to kind of hide the platform as much as I love its functionality. It just looks like a black plastic platform in there. So we're going to kind of create that land feature now by having that moss covering it. And so if you leave these tubes completely open and it's not meant to be a hiding spot, you're not going to see your reptile. frog moss. Uh, it's just a thicker kind of pillow moss and it'll give a nice kind of feature in some of the spots. I always like to add just a nice branch, something coming out of the water. Uh, just in case we do put something in there that isn't used to having that much water or might need a little bit of extra help kind of swimming his way out. Um, you know, generally we're, we're seeing a lot of uh, arboreal geckos, which are going to cling to the glass. We're not going to be a problem with them. Same with like tree frogs and all that. But if somebody does go with something like the, uh, I was talking earlier, one of the nicest ones I saw was a long-tailed grass lizard. So oh, okay. with one of these, just because they, they are such natural animals to come out and sit at, at the front. But they're not, you know, used to a lot of swimming, so this branch will give them a nice way to be able to kind of That's come out of the water and work out really well. Chain if we're on the way to see. No, no problem. We just may have to readjust that log just so we get all the water flowing forward. Sure. That'll be the only thing, but there go. looks like we're going good. Oh yeah, there it comes. That's nice. 
we'll also go back in and we'll add a couple of uh, aquatic plants out on the bottom to give the fish some place to hide, that kind of a thing. Uh, we want to be very aware that we are covering underneath, so we'll probably put a couple of fake plants underneath the platform so they've got a place to go in and out of and the fish feel comfortable, but then we'll do a couple of live plants up at the front of the tank so that way they've got yeah, plenty of light and we'll get some good growth out of that. Uh, some really nice options in the store as far as some bog plants, some things that'll come out of the water, so those are perfect for this setup.